Okay, I have a very a quick review here because it's for a very basic program, but it's very useful. It's called Uplet, basically like uploading. It is a program available from the Mac App Store by the creators of Flox Pro. I think I'm saying that right. It's an internet downloader. You might you might know of it. it. Basically, it's very simple. It's a uploader for Instagram. Now, Instagram doesn't have their own app for Windows or Mac. It, they only have a smartphone app for things like iOS and Android. So that does mean you're, if you aren't on your phone all the time and you want to maybe, or maybe even if you don't have a phone that's compatible, Instagram, whatever, it causes a bit of a problem because you can go to their website, Instagram, and you can view your photos from there. You can look at them, you can log in, you can look at them, but you can't delete them and you can't upload from this website. So this will allow you to upload to your Instagram account without being on a smartphone. It's a Mac desktop app for uploading. And it was also, unlike a lot of programs, some other programs have now added the ability to upload Instagram as well. But most will only allow you to upload one photo at a time. This is a bulk uploader. So say you've just created a new account and you want to upload quite a few, like five, ten pictures, well, you can select those five or ten from your hard drive and bulk upload them using this program, which is quite useful. I need to point out straight away that you cannot create an account from this program, and I don't know any Instagram third-party programs that allow you to create an account, and you cannot create a, an account on Instagram from their website either. So you will need access to a smartphone with instagram app on it so either an iphone or an android phone or a windows phone first to create an initial account which is a bit of a pity in case you don't have a smartphone or whatever so but that's something to bear in mind with any of these programs including apple you will need to have an account created from a smartphone or tablet first so when you first launch a program you'll get a username and password box and this isn't any account you have to create with them with the people that make this program, it's your Instagram account. So you log in with the same details as you'd use to log into the website, uh, to log in to the app or the website. So let's do that. Let's type in our username and password a minute, then hit log in. Now, once you've logged in, it takes you straight to this screen. Now, there isn't a lot to it. You can't view your photos. There are some other third-party programs on the Mac App Store that allow you to view the photos on your account once you logged in. This is purely an uploader and that is it. So you can click here, then go to your pictures. Now you can either select one at a time and double click or hit open, or this is the unique part of this program. You can select multiple, then click open and we can do all three in one go or more as you can see three photos selected it says and we can add a caption and what you do is you'd think well how do you select multiple uh, pictures to add captions well once you hit add caption we can now type in such as head phones or whatever we want here then we hit the next box and that moves on to the next photo you had selected we can type a caption for this such as uni graduation or whatever then move on to the next one and give that a title as well okay so then once you've done that you can either clear or share it all which will upload all the photos in one go batch upload them to instagram or we can, on each individual picture, click here. This is basically a type of crop. You can either have the image like that or a square image, the two different type, main types of Instagram photos. You cannot crop, you cannot drag on the image and crop out an image to actually crop out just an area. There are some other programs that do allow you to drag and crop the image and just use a particular part of the image. This is just several different sizes. Now, once we've done that, we can then hit share all. It says share an image one of three. In progress, please wait. Then it moves on to the next one. In progress, please wait.
Next one, progress, please wait. Then you'll get a notification to say that all photos were successfully shared and it will tell you down here with a little icon as well. All there really is apart from that to the program is you can click here on your profile picture. It tells you your name. You can click account info, which will open your Instagram profile in a web browser. You can log out of your Instagram, log into a different account or whatever you want to do. You can get to this from here as well and about box and it's version 1.0. It is a very new program at the time of making this review. And that is about it. So what suggestions do I have? Well, it'd be nice if it, this supported Instagram filters, like when you use the app on the uh, phone, because I have seen another program that does allow you to do, use Instagram filters and put different effects on your photos as you upload them. And also the ability to drag and crop out an area would be nice. I've seen that in other things as well. Apart from that, the only other suggestion I have is it would be good if you could delete the photos that you've uploaded from here because you can't delete photos from the website. So it'd be handy if you made a mistake and uploaded the wrong picture or whatever that you could delete the pictures you uploaded from within the program. But apart from that, it's a really handy bulk uploader for Instagram for your Mac desktop. It, very handy. There's a few features I'd like added, especially uh, the ability to delete pictures if you make a mistake. So what do I think about the program? It's a great start, great 1.0. Be good if there's filters, dragging and cropping out an area and the ability to delete photos if you don't want them anymore or made a mistake. What else do I think about it? Well, it's a little pricey perhaps for what it is because it doesn't do a whole lot. It's not a whole, say, image editor or video converter. Yeah, at the moment it is about eight pounds in the UK, about $10. And they say that's an introduction price, so it may go up even higher. Uh, so I would prefer to see this around about five pounds in the UK, maybe, or maybe in the US about five dollars or something like that. And I would prefer that to be the permanent price from now on instead of raising it. Because when a program only has a limited amount of functionality, a limited purpose, you don't want to pay too much for it, let's face it. Uh, but it's good for what it is because it's the only uploader that I know of for Instagram that allows you to do bulk uploading, that allows you to drag and select say 10 pictures and bulk upload. There are a few other programs now that do allow you to upload Instagram but they don't do it by bulk. So really it depends upon what you think it's worth for the price, if you think it's too much or it's got to be too much or whatever. Uh, but it is, as far as I am aware, the only Mac bulk uploader for Instagram available from the Mac App Store. I do like it. Uh, there are a few suggestions. Hopefully they'll add them soon. And I will put a link in the description for you. Please like and comment this video. And if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel as it just takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.